Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. It's time to cook dinner. I feel like it's been forever since I made a cooking video. But tonight, I'm going to make some hamburger steaks with brown gravy, some mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, and maybe some green beans. I'm not sure yet on those, but I'm thinking about it. So, let's get down here. Let's get uh, the hamburger steaks put together and get those on cooking. And I've got my mashed potatoes going <clears throat> right there. This is the potatoes. That's the water for the macaroni and cheese back there. This skillet right here is for my hamburger steaks. So let's get them put together. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. Now in this bowl, I've got one pound of hamburger meat. I'm pretty sure it's 80-20. It may be 7327. And I'm gonna add some nature seasoning. I use this in everything. So we're gonna add a little bit of this to this meat. We're gonna add some salt. And that's it. I'm not gonna add anything else. The gravy is gonna have onions cooked in it. So that's why I'm not adding anything to this. All right. We got that mixed up. We don't want to mix it too much because it just makes your hamburgers tough, I think. I could be wrong. It could just be me. But so we're just going to flatten these out. I'll drop this because my hands are greasy. Turn this on. I'm gonna turn it down. And get these on to cooking. The last one. This is the easiest way I know to make hamburger steaks. I know they you can cook them in the oven. I've just always done it this way. So we're going to let those get cooking and we'll be right back. Now I do apologize for the exhaust fan on my stove being on. When the burner's up here, get hot enough, it automatically comes on on its own. So, what we're going to add to this grease that I cook my hamburgers in, we're going to add some flour to it. You know what? Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I should have let the onions cook a little bit first. Well, we just won't have any onions in it. And we're going to let this flour cook for just a minute and get that raw flour taste cooked out of it. Let me get my broth. I've got two cups of beef broth here. We're going to add it just a little bit at a time so that it doesn't get too thick. brown gravy is not hard.
all the rock that's gonna need. Because we don't want it real thick, not like white gravy. And I don't like my white gravy thick. But brown gravy shouldn't be as thick as white. I'm going to turn this burner down. Now we're going to put these hamburger patties back in here. And just kind of coat them with this gravy. be back here in a minute to make some mashed potatoes and some macaroni and cheese. Well, the green beans didn't make it to the plate, but you know what? That's all right, because there's enough here to feed an army with. So, let's try it out. I know it sure does smell good. Hang on, y'all. My phone's a little crooked. Oh, still a little crooked. Mm, I guess that'll work. Hamburger steak, macaroni and cheese, homemade mashed potatoes, homemade brown gravy. Mmm. And croissant rolls. I did fix some of those. And no, they're not homemade. Store bought. It's quicker. Now, the way I make my macaroni and cheese, I cook my noodles. Then I'll take about four or five slices of American cheese. I will drain the water off my noodles, tear that cheese up, put it in a pot, put some butter in there, put the noodles back on it, put a lid on it, and let that heat melt that cheese and that butter. Then I'll mix in the little powder pack that comes with it and the... I'll mix some milk in it, stir that up till it's nice and creamy, and potatoes, we've all made mashed potatoes, milk, butter, salt, pepper, whatever you want to put in them, and that's it, and you've seen how I made the hamburger steaks, it's not hard at all, it's a quick, delicious meal, it'll stick to your ribs, you won't feel like you're starving to death 45 minutes after you eat, so there you have it, dinner. Like I said, it feels like forever since I made a cooking video. But I'm going to close this video out and enjoy my dinner while it's still hot. But I thank you for taking time to stop in and see what I was fixing, spending a little time with me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I thank you for your prayers for my father-in-law and my sister. They are greatly appreciated. And with that, I'm going to say good night. God bless. Take care. And until we meet again, have a wonderful evening. Bye now.